Yo, what's up? We are now in Folldal, and in this video, I'm going to try. Where's that sound? Why does it always happen that every time I start recording a video in Folldal, I hear weird sounds? But it's minus 26 degrees outside. My nose here is freezing. <laughs> we are charging up. This is Tesla Model 3, uh, long range, 2021 model with heat pump. And we are getting ready now for sleeping in the car. Let me show you stuff. Okay, always do this. Yeah. See, we're at 87%. Uh, we don't need the juice really, but I'm just uh, charging. I'm getting ready. So in the back here, you see, yeah, and also here, but you see, I cover most of the windows. I prepare the bed and we are going to find the coldest place around here. It's supposed to be minus 29. I'm not sure if you're gonna find it. And then we'll sleep in the car and then we see how good the octavalve and the heat pump is. So uh, the, the previous video I managed to try this thing, it was near Solfjell and was only minus seven. So hopefully we get some extreme temperatures tonight. And one little tip if you wanna sleep in the car is that uh, while you are fast charging like now, uh, you might as well try to preheat uh, the car and you can start, if you press this one here, you will activate the rear, def uh, the rear vents here. You can feel that hot air is coming out here. But when I leave the car and I come back in, it will, well, we can try. Uh, it's kind of weird why that happens. But if you do something like this, close it and then leave the car. Let's say f go far enough away so it locks itself. And if you come back, then uh, for some reason it resets, maybe because it, it doesn't detect any, any passenger in the back. <laughs> uh, so it, it, doesn't, it doesn't want you to accidentally forget about it. You see? Then we have to activate it again. But I want to activate it and heat up the, the back side as much as possible. So are we good to go? Uh, I think so. Uh, I think last time when I slept in an Optimus Prime, I went to the south here and I found a place that was even colder than Folldal. So that's where we're going to search for now. All right, we found a spot. We are camping now. It's right outside of Folldal. Yeah, but I'm going to reset. It's 3 a.m. Let's reset this one with a trip and then we can count stationary here. This is one important we can also see, yeah, they indeed. But I usually don't trust this one 100%, but this one, well, uh, was about to, da, 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 da. <laughs> Yeah, so this will count how many kilowatt hour we, we spend, but okay. Uh, battery is at 37 degrees Celsius, fairly nice and warm. We're driving back and forth, but I found out that this spot here is the best one. Okay, wow, this pulls one kilowatt. Okay, uh, now I have to uh, cover all the windows. We have to save energy as much as possible. Okay, so now I put on the, all the window shades. So the whole car is perfectly insulated right now for maximum energy efficiency. And uh, yeah, it is minus 26 degrees outside. I couldn't find colder place. But um, if you look here now, uh, you see, the car pulls 670 watts total with all the lights in here, with some pumps and everything. So the heat pump is super efficient right now, despite minus 26 outside. But that is solely because the battery is nice and warm, but we'll see how long it lasts before the battery cools down. What I've seen before is that uh, the minimum temperature that the car will keep it at is, um, I think seven or nine degrees Celsius. If it goes lower, it will actually start heating the battery. So we should see that soon. But I had to lower the temperature. It was, first it was at 20.5 and it was too hot. So I lowered it to 20 degrees and we have this one rear vents on, but I will leave it on automatic. I'd be surprised to think, uh, to know how many people think stream sniping means stream. Uh, to know how many people think stream sniping means stream cheating. Well, those are two different things, and I hope I uh, cleared it up. Because not everyone knows the, you know, the gaming terms and stuff like that. But, yeah. We've been camping here for one hour, and uh, wow. From uh, 35 degrees to 
15 degrees roughly so we lost 20 degrees in the battery pack in one hour so the car has been sucking the battery as much as possible well but you see average for the first hour is only 860 watts including some yeah watching videos here so yes let's watch some more uh, actually let me show you here i had to lower the temperature because it was simply too hot might have to lower it even more it's just uh yeah go 19 degrees oh slightly better because it feels so nice and warm in here you know i think the the, the air conditioning has been tuned so that uh, 20 21 degrees feels perfect when you don't have these window shades so yeah they are really amazing right now and also here i have a temp sensor i put outside uh it just needs to climatize it's the top one here it says you can barely say that see the minus there but it says actually minus seven degrees it needs some time to to climatize so uh, i don't trust the the, the car sensor 100 percent. so we'll see after a while what it gives me okay i've been going in and out of the car a little bit shooting some videos but you see i want to keep this one on and then have it on automatic and actually 18.5 degrees celsius so if we look at this one this temp sensor uh well the lower one here is the inside temperature so it reports it has 24 degrees in the front and this one is minus 20 degrees celsius outside it's still adjusting it takes a long time before uh, the sensor cools down uh, but uh, right now it has dropped to, to minus 25 so you see here temperature on the pack has now dropped to 12.3 degrees so uh, now the the power for heating has increased so hmm, i wonder how it will be soon but i guess it's getting pretty late so i'm gonna get some sleep and uh, hopefully tomorrow morning it's still pretty cold outside oh yeah nice and comfy bed in the back so good night then Good morning. It is 10 in the morning now. Oh, I slept here like a baby. It was superb. I will show you what I did to make sure that uh, the comfort level was the best. But um, when it comes to the compressor, it was somewhat noisy. I think you can even hear it. So when I was sleeping in the car in minus five or something roughly, the compressor didn't make that much noise but now i i heard it through the night that it was working harder and also it did some burst sometimes uh yeah we'll maybe we'll catch it but oh 10 in the morning yeah we should check the stats okay so um the nice feature is that camp mode uh, doesn't uh, turn the screen on so that's nice and if you look at the stats here yeah Okay, so it's been a little over uh, 10 now, so that means a little over 7 hours. And uh, the battery is cooled down to 5.5 degrees, but you see it keeps it there. It doesn't want to let it uh, cool down too much. So it, it's been, through the night, it's been actively heating up the battery to, to keep it there. Otherwise it would go, <laughs> you know, to minus 22. Actually, it's minus 24 here. Huh. Okay, so like I said, we can't trust this number, but at least based on all these numbers here, uh, the average power draw was 1.9 kilowatt so far. I'm going to camp a little bit more, so I'm going to check delta. But, okay, you see, this car claims minus 22, but, um, oh, oops. This one here claims minus 24. Yeah, you see the top there. So I trust this one more because I know that the, the car's display sometimes does some words. Oh, this is very bright. Okay, maybe I should. Uh, yeah, it's based on daytime. Okay, it adjusts now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe I should test it to night for now. <laughs> okay, check it out. Uh, uh, uh. 
Whoa. Oh, good morning, Fondal. Yeah. Wow. Nice weather with the clear sky. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. There is no frost on this window. What about the other one here? Check this one. Huh. You see that? This window is full of frost. Not this one, which is double glazed. Is that a coincidence? Hmm. Okay, let's go outside for a bit. Wait, wait, wait. I need, I need my phone in case, in case the car locks. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, so I've been camping here. You, you haven't seen the spot yet. Now you see it. So it's just some, uh, it's, a, it's a little parking lot with this tower thing for tourists. You can go up there and check it out. Oh, maybe we should check out the, the, the thing. But I, I think I need jacket. It's, it's cold all the time. <laughs> just wearing this jacket. And it's supposed to be minus 24 degrees now. <laughs> but uh, I want to show you. Here's a sensor. So the sensor here will send a signal every minute to the in, yeah, inside. And this sensor claims minus 24 degrees. And then somehow the car sensor claimed minus 22. But I actually trust the, the, the external sensor there. Ooh. Okay, so let's see what it looks like from outside here. See, lots of frost on these windows. Here also, yeah. But look, it's so cold. Yeah, okay, this one is flush. But like, like this one, it's just, you know, one of the, one of the pieces that fell off a, a car, you know, it's just slush, but look, it, it's so cold and rock hard. It's like glass almost, it's like, it's like ceramics. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Oh shit. Wait, wait, wait what's that? Is that heated? Okay, I better bring the thermal camera here. I'm gonna check it out. Okay, go inside first. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, now we look through the, the FLIR camera. Let me zoom in a little bit better. So you see, it keeps the in, internal, uh, yeah, at 25 roughly. In the foot well, it's even warmer. 30 degrees. Wow. And then we have some cold spots on the door, 18, 19, but the whole cabin is actually kept quite nice and comfy. I mean, other people might go for lower temperature. I set it to 18 degrees cabin temperature, but you see these, these window shades, oops, there, 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 they make wonders. You see, there's a little gap there. Okay, look through the, this one. You see that, that gap, yeah, has minus six or whatever, but then these shades, they help big time for conserving the heat here. What over there, over here. Oh, you see that naturally screens, they will, they will appear bright. And then we have some reflection here. It's always, it's always tricky trying to measure uh, um, a reflecting surface. But same here, yeah. So I did a good job trying to insulate the car. And the back also nice and warm. Well, at least over here, yeah, my feet. <laughs> actually, you see, it actually means that my feet is warm, nice and warm, yeah. And also, let me look at the rear wall here. Whoa, 13, 14 degrees Celsius. But you see that at the very back here, it's quite cold. There, minus two actually, because there, there are no air vents in the, in the trunk, obviously, in, in the Model 3. What about over here? Yeah, you see, we also have some cold places here. But uh, this is metal. Uh, yeah, I just put the shafts there. I just had to put them somewhere. But at least in the back, it's also very well insulated. Uh, let me check what about the sides. This one, uh, 13. But on this side, I put where well, I was sleeping here. I put this, uh, this acoustic foam. You know, anything I have to help insulate. So you see that that should help. Yeah, it's 22 here. So anything that can help me uh, reflect the heat inside here is better. But uh, let me show you now in the rear what I did here. 
this part here. You see, we have some sheepskin, and then beyond the sheepskin, we have the IKEA dices. So I actually steal some space because of this, but the dice this is inflatable and it traps the air. So because I had problems uh, even in just minus seven, I had problems with cold feet footwell. But by doing this and then just adding this extra sheepskin, it becomes super nice and comfy. And also I'm gonna show you something cool here. Let's see. Let's put the camera there. Okay, I'm gonna try to dig it out now. Ooh, I put a water bottle. <laughs> I put a water bottle there. And the bottle is totally frozen. This indicate this is a very good indication how cold it is in the footwell where it's not insulated. <laughs> it's just slush here. Okay, another checkpoint now at 11. You see that um, t through the night, okay, if you take totals then, that means uh, eight hours of camping so far. And the average power draw has now gone up to 1.95 or 1.9. And also if you look at the delta here for the last uh, 54 minutes, 0.9 hours, it means that uh, right now the car is pulling 2.44 kilowatt on average. So uh, yeah, that's the answer then. Uh, around 2.4 kilowatts when, when camping at minus 24. Yeah, this one still claims minus 22, you see that one? But again, if you look here, the outside, okay, it's minus 23.7 now, so, hmm. You know, they say that if it's colder than minus 10 degrees outside, then if you throw uh, water up in the air, it will instantly freeze. But it has to be boiling water. So I have this bottle of cold water, and now I'm boiling water. It might take a little while. I've reheated it, but it still might take another 10 minutes. But um, we're gonna test now to see if this one be will instantly become snow and then this one will just, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Hmm. Okay, meanwhile, let's check out the car now. So I've taken out all the sunshades now. Uh, the temperature reading might be a little bit off here. It, it claims minus, ah, oh yeah, okay, that's way off. But you see that over here, at least the relatively, uh, Yeah, okay, so the, the readings are way off. Let me check front here. I was looking, oh, look here. Huh. So the sensors are heated. Maybe I need to calibrate. Wait, is this the calibration button? Yeah. Does that help? No, it's, it's not minus 40 here, I don't know. But at least what I was looking for is those, those hot spots. Wait, where's the radar then? The radar is supposed to be here in the nose area somewhere. But you see those sensors, those temp sensors, I mean those, uh, sorry, those pro proximity sensors, they are heated. What about, what about the side with heater? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's also heated. What about this one on the, on the B, uh, B pillar? Uh, yes, yeah, seems like it. And then the red bumper. Let me see, let me see anything there. Yeah, 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 you see those dots? There, 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 there. So they are heated. As long as the car is operational, like now, in camp mode. Wait, let me see, I did pee around here a while ago. Can we see my urine? Whoa, this is not mine. Why does it look so weird? This is the one I freshly pee. Yeah, 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 see, see, the hotspot there. That's my urine. Yeah, it's still mm, nice and warm. Okay, let's try to pour some water on the food here. It should instantly freeze. You see here? Okay. It's so terrible aiming. Whoa! Oh, look at that! Wait! What happened? It instantly froze <laughs> within seconds. <laughs> wow. Okay, regular water. Ah. 
boiling water. <laughs> wow. Okay, one more. Okay, that was interesting. So it was 2.4 kilowatts when it was in the cold state, you know, the battery. So interesting. I'm actually going to try an E-Nero tomorrow. Same drill tomorrow, same coal. <laughs> and then we will compare at least because E-Nero is also very efficient. It also has heat scavenging. So we can see how much that car uses. But okay, pretty cool, yeah. Uh, I didn't find colder weather than this, so uh, this probably be it. Minus 24 is considered pretty cold though in Norway. So yeah, I think it was impressive. 2.4 kilowatt at minus 24, or yeah, minus 26 last night, but yeah. So I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.